What's happening guys, Shawnee Nux here. Welcome back to the channel. Shouts out to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. It really means the world to me. But yeah, let's get into this video. For all you people that aren't familiar with who Mark Gonzalez is, I'll give you guys a little background. Pretty much in the late 80s, vert skating kind of took a dive and was losing its popularity. A lot of people were skating in the street. A lot of people thought that street skating would actually die out and it was just a fad, which is kind of funny to think about because street skating is like so big now. There was a few people that were skating the street that were kind of the first kind of pioneers of street skateboarding, if you will. Mark Gonzalez being one of them. He was dubbed the most influential skateboarder of all time. And if you go back and watch his blind video days part, you can understand why. A lot of the tricks and the stuff he was doing in that part was like ahead of its time hadn't really been seen before. And like I said, people didn't think street skating was possible. They thought like, oh, you pretty much go and skate the vert ramp or you skate freestyle. And street skating is just kind of to muck around. Back in 1989, Mark actually founded a company called Blind. I'm sure all of you have heard of this company before. It's a pretty big brand name in skateboarding. But he started Blind back in the late 80s. From then, I think he moved on from Blind. He actually started another brand in 2002 called Crooked, another big name in the industry. I'm sure all of you guys have heard of Crooked. For all you kids that were commenting on my last board setup video saying you are riding crooked boards, this guy owns crooked. So I've only come across his YouTube channel recently, like the past week. I've been watching the clips that he's uploaded recently and it's such a sick thing to see him still skating and still being the Gons after all these years. It's been like 25, 30 years and he's still the same character as he was back then, which is so sick and inspirational to see. So I figured I'd try out some of the tricks he'd uploaded to his channel. Bear in mind, I've never done any of these tricks before in my life. I pretty much had to learn them on the spot. A lot of these tricks may look simple, but the amount of board control you need to execute these tricks clean is like through the roof. Like you need so much board control. And keep in mind, I am six foot one. So bending down to grab my board was like super hard for me to kind of balance and stuff because of my height, but anyway. The first trick I wanted to try was the fake Yoli pop to front side pivot. I'm gonna show you guys a clip of Mark doing it, and then I'm gonna show you guys how long it took me to learn how to do it, and then we're gonna show them side by side, so let's check it out. As you can see, he rolls in fakie, he pops, lands his back truck on that curb, balances, brings his weight back over, and then ollies back onto the flat. Simple. Now let's have a look at how long it took me to do it. So as you guys can see, it took me a little while to learn this one. I think the hardest part for me was kind of ollieing and landing with my weight back from the curb so I wasn't going on top of the curb. Just being able to hold that pivot without my tail touching and then popping back in took me a few goes. But yeah, let's have a look at both those clips side by side. All right, so the next trick I attempted was the 360 rock in the street. So basically you're rolling in fakie, you're popping, you're doing a half cap, landing with your board on the curb, and then pivoting out. And that's a 360 rock in the street. Let's check out how the Gons does it. The 360 rock and roll is actually a spiced up version of the original rock and roll. It is what it is. Ride out, rock it, and then roll back in. All right, let's check out how I did this trick. I've got to say, this trick come a lot easier than the fakie pop 5-0 pivot. Just seemed more natural to me to kind of half cab onto the curb and pivot out. It didn't take me that long to learn. Alright guys, so this next trick beat the hell out of me. Like I fell over a lot. I had to put a glove on actually because my thumb was getting thumb grip from just grabbing the board so much. So this next trick we're gonna look at is called the early indie grab nose pick. I'm not gonna lie, this took me forever to learn. I slammed pretty hard, but in the end I got there, so let's check it out. 
Hi, I'm Mark Gonzalez. How you doing? Big shout out to my subscribers. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. We're gonna do an indie nose pick. Early grab, indie nose pick. And here we go. Simple, effortless. So as you can see, I had to really battle for this trick. I got there eventually. Let's have a look at the clips side by side. The next trick I learned was the front side nose pick shove out. Again, guys, it looks quite simple, but the amount of board control you need to execute this trick clean, it's a bit, it took me a little while. So we just did indie nose pick. Now we're gonna try to do Ollie to front side nose pick, shove it off. Here we go. Out. I was just skating the mall car park and the security came and I got kicked out so I had to move along to this crusty old loading dock style ledge place that was only up the road so but after I moved on to the new spot I was able to get it in like five minutes so really happy about that one let's have a look at both these clips side by side all right so this next trick guys is the alley-oop backside lip on a curb something so simple but so kind of difficult because you're rolling in one way and then you're turning your body the opposite way but let's check out how the gons does it Approach the curb backside, go front side, land in the middle of your deck, which is like a lipper, lipper, alley oop, lipper, land like your lip on the lip, and then turn off. And that is a backside alley oop lip slide. It's so sick to see him still skating after all these years and still going out by himself to skate a curb. Like honestly, how many kids do you know that just head out and skate a curb? It's just so sick to see that skateboarding still exists so strongly inside him. Pretty much back then there wasn't many skate parks, there was only vert ramps, these dudes had to skate the street and a lot of people grew up skating curbs like this. I grew up skating the curb outside of my house, I did my first snow slide on the curb at the front of my house. Let's have a look at how I did this trick. As you guys can see, it took me a few goes to get this one. I landed in and then I kind of wiggled off a little bit. I couldn't do it as kind of steezy as the Gons, but who can really skate as steezy as the Gons anyway? Before we move on to this next trick, guys, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram already, make sure you follow me at Enochism. And if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button Go and check out the rest of my videos. Let's move on to this next trick. So the next trick I learned was the sweeper. So I'm told this is like an old school vert trick and like old school vert skaters used to do this trick. So him being able to do it in the street is like so sick. Not only does this guy rip skateboarding on the street, you should see him in a vert ramp. He's able to skate a vert ramp like he's a street skater. Let's have a look at how many goes it took me to learn this one. This is 
probably my favorite trick of the day to be honest and now that I've learnt it I can do it at the park and look cool. I love how he's so comfortable to skate like anywhere as you can see it's, it looks like a busy intersection like there's people crossing the road you can hear cars going by and he's just skating like he's in his own world it's so sick. This one took me a few goes some funny bales in here so let's check it out. So as you guys can see, I was able to kind of get it in my own way. It wasn't as clean as his one. So if you guys haven't seen his part in Blind Video Days, I strongly suggest you go and check it out. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Make sure you go and check it out. And Mark, if you do end up watching this video, shouts out to you, honestly. You can see why a lot of skateboarders from the late 90s and early 2000s were so inspired by your skating and your creativity awesome to watch if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy this style of content definitely let me know in the comment section below if you guys are new to my channel and you want to watch some more videos there should be a link in the description below to my DIY diary series I built this DIY park with my bare hands and a few other friends but yeah go and check it out make sure you subscribe throw a thumbs up drop me a comment below but until next time guys thank you so much for watching the video I'll see you all in the next one